off or on the parachute and it's starting to descend. I'm at 18 years per second. At this point, I'm standing by for radar RF on and out to convert it. Radar switch to output mode. Standing by for output convert. Yes, the legs are deployed. Doug McQuiston, the head of the uh, Mars program, NASA headquarters, and Fruit Wee, head of Mars program at uh, JBL. Fruit has a job I used to have. Last second, one of the tricky seconds. Round up, both 60 meters per second. Stand by, so I'll just convert it. 60 meters per second. Radar reliable. Okay, the radar is working. It's finding the surface. The spacecraft knows its elevation. Standing by for land separation, out to 1,100 meters. Signal may drop out in land separation. Up to 1,000 meters. The separation detected. We have reapplied the signal. Gravity turn detected. Out to 600 meters. 500 meters. 400 meters. Hang on. 250 meters. 150 meters. 100 meters. 80 meters, 60 meters, come from all space detected, up to 40 meters, standing back for touchdown. Slow down, that's good, yes it did. Touchdown, single detected. <laughs>
kind of clean that area off. Very nice. So the solar panels are deployed correctly. The spacecraft is getting power. It's recharging its batteries very importantly so it can survive the low sun conditions coming up later the next day. The camera is deployed successfully. Uh, the camera is working successfully. That's good news. Peter Smith is a happy guy. The team at Tucson is very happy. And there's rocks on Mars. <laughs> Thank you.